Hey there, I'm Aki and welcome back to Subnautica. And yes, what you're seeing is someone playtesting Subnautica Below Zero. Now, I won't be showing the entire stream since this is over an hour long, but as you can see right here, the entire title screen is animated. I love it! Please keep that. Those penguins are so cute. I think they have a name, but I can't remember it right now. I think we'll see it later in the video. Now, as you can see, we do have the normal penguins and some animations, which I really like. They remind me of normal penguins, but you can also see the baby penguins falling over and standing back up right there. And the logo, of course. It's snowing and the glaciers also look really cool. I hope they have that quality in the game as well. So the loading screen is this concept art which we have seen before with the Altera logo again. So I'm not sure if this is gonna stay the way it is or if they are gonna change the background. But it didn't change for the original game so they might just keep it. Alright and here we have the beginning sequence of Subnautica Below Zero. Now I've never seen this so this is my honest reaction. Let's see. We wake up in a pre-built base and we get a call. Who's that? Oh, oh, it's just our alarm. Okay, NB all text something. Emperor dream sequence. We are different, but we go together. Oh, so we just dreamed, and we dreamed about the Emperor, apparently, even though we are not Riley. That is weird. So this space is quite big and has some very interesting rooms which I've never seen before. Some interesting lab equipment, if I just go back a little here. So we have some lockers, some... Okay, um, I'm gonna pause it right here. There's a picture of the Vesper which is just a poster. But that's what the Vesper looks like for anyone that hasn't seen it yet. Okay, we have some interesting lab equipment. Uh, this is the specimen analyzer. This is in the base game already. It's just not used, so we might see use for it. We have some robotic arm over here. I don't think we'll be able to use that, but we never know. And some interesting chairs and desks in the background. Alright. So, that looked like some trash cans. I'm not sure what exactly that is. And now we can walk out here. Okay, this looks amazing. There's a giant place and a antenna. I'm not sure what that is. Some interesting new plants. Light sticks. Vesper, Station Zero. This is Vesper. Come in. Hi, Sam. Alright, the, the, the snowman is great. We lost contact with Jeffries up at the research site. Okay, so we're researching the precursors, I think. With this GPS tracker off at the research and site. And there we go. It's actually saying Understood. something on its own. I'll go take a look as soon as I'm ready. Roger that. I do I'm like... Saying, the formal bit's cute, but we shared a womb. Would it kill your career to act like we'd met before? <gasps> Damn it, Okay, Robert, you know they're the sisters. Are monitored. I don't care who knows it's cute. I've been here two weeks and we've like broken. Because you insisted on transferring straight to the planet. Find Jeffries. Yes, ma'am. Oh my god, I love this. I was worried they might... Oh! Hi, plant! Alright. I was worried the... Wow, okay, those are creepy. I was worried the conversations would make the character... Or would make me feel less like the character. But it does not add at all. I love it. Okay, those, those plants are really, really creepy. Okay, and that seems like it's the precursor base thing, which we've seen from a concept art. Is it? I'm pretty sure there's a base right in the cave over here. Ton of light sticks. You sure like to use those, don't you? Okay, so I think this part is more focused on the story than the last one. And, yep, there is the precursor base. I'm not sure how them focusing on the story will turn out, but I guess we'll see. Alright, so just a lot of research equipment. And all of these 
What? Oh. Uh, how do you know my name? I come in peace? Sam. What? The building just powered up. It spoke to me. Do you need emergency assistance? I'm fine. No sign Okay. The Robin, subtitles are a little too quickly. I think it's already here. That cavern isn't stable. You should get back to me. Sam. Damn it. Uh oh. Abandoned PDA. Why is there an abandoned PDA? Alien research said zero. During the occupation of four. Okay, they're not. If you wanted to read that, you can go back and pause the video, I guess. Okay, we're going back out now. Let's see if anything changed. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Um. That does not seem too good. Well, we can walk up here now, I guess. Oh, I know this place from the concept art. Alright, watch out that you don't break into the ice, please. That would be very bad. Okay, good. I, I would not go outside during a thunderstorm. Like, stay inside your base, maybe? That that seems a little safer. Ouch. Also, why are there rocks here? I thought this was a water planet, so technically this should only be ice and not, like, stone. That is a little weird. Okay, we are going back to the base, it seems, and no, we are not. Why? Okay, then. That's a lot of smoke. And now we can't go back, or why exactly are we over here now? Yeah, jumping down there does not seem... Yeah, all right. If you want to hurt yourself, then do so. Oh, okay, that is not good. Well, um... I guess we're forced on the water now. No longer safe, and your PDA has rebooted in emergency mode. Oh, well. Remaining above ground will result in lethal exposure. Oh, so you're just gonna... Stay underwater and drown here. What is that plant? Replenish oxygen. I am not sure if I would do that. Alright, we might be able to get out here. No, we can't. Alright. Yes, yeah, swimming in the water during a thunderstorm does really not seem very good. And we are in the twisty bridges, it seems like. So is this another, I guess, underwater volcano because there's like ground here and not just ice? Might be. Yep, we are in the Twisty Bridges. Okay. Ice Peeper! Oh, that was so cute. A lot of penguins, uh, bladderfish, hoopfish. Okay, nothing too special. This game already seems very finished, I have to say. Or maybe it's just because they took the graphics from Subnautica. Also possible. Robin, so we're just me? swimming Sam, over? Copy. I'm out in open water. Are you hurt? I'm requesting an immediate evac. No, I'm okay. I just need shelter. Okay, I'm sending a drop pod. Look up. A drop Thanks. pod. Alright. Hey, there's the Vesper! That does not look like a normal life pod. And it actually sinks to the bottom. Alright then. So don't drop these over the void. That would be pretty bad. Okay. So can we enter? Oh. It has some solar panels for power. 
There we are. All right. Sam, I'm at the pod. Any word on Jeffries? GPS is still down. And the facility? Interesting. Okay, so we have a pre-installed, uh, I think, start system. Yep, and a pre-installed fabricator. So it's basically an upgraded version of the life pod. I see some sea glide fragments. I'm not sure why we would have to use those since we should have the blueprint pre-installed on our PDA now, but I guess not. All right, uh, same fish as in the base game. Let's see if we can catch an ice peeper. Quartz, okay, all the same stuff apparently. Well, it's the same planet after all, so. Oxygen. Oh yeah, oxygen. I love those messages. Alright, those plants look cool. Ribbon plant. I'm wondering what we could do with those. Seagulite fragment, alright. More ribbon plants. Alright, for a battery, we do need the ribbon plant. So, no more creep vines, apparently. Alright. Okay, I'm sorry, but this looks so creepy. Whoa, okay, I'm excited. Oh, this is gonna be great. What is that? Is that a... Is, is that a... Oh, that's a, 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 you know... Um, I forgot the name. Pinacarid, I think. New creature discovered. Oh, that sound, though. Oxygen. Oxygen. Yes, please remember your oxygen. Oh, so they made the creep vine seeds pink? Alright. But I think they still function the same way. Oh, they are called penguins and penglings for the small ones. Oh, that's cute. Pengling. Young penguins tend to huddle on dry land awaiting their next meal. Blah, 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 blah. Assessment harmless. Okay, penglings are harmless, apparently. And there are some penguins over here. Let's see, are you harmless too? Bird-like creature hunts small fish below the water, huddles in pack on the ice above. Assessment less cuddly than they look. <laughs> I like it. Okay, we're scanning the pinna carrot now. Pinna carrot. Let's see. An intelligent and curious creature which hunts and forages below the waterline, but returns to the surface to breathe. Eat small fish. I didn't read that. Eat small fish, maybe hand-fed, shows taming potential. Assessment friendly. So we might be able to tame the pinna carrot. Maybe it's something like the stalker where it's not permanently tamed or permanently. Permanently would of course be amazing, but I'm not sure if that will be in the game. Oh yeah, if you are under ice sheets, then you have some trouble getting oxygen. And now we're scanning the sea monkey. Let's see what you exactly do. Indigenous life form, sea monkey. A medium-sized and intelligent herbivore. More research is needed to understand this life form. Can you stop? <laughs> Let's see. Sea monkeys roam the ocean mo Sea monkeys roam the ocean almost playfully, fearless of predators and less yes? I have no idea what that is about resources. Known to show intense interest in other life forms. Form small nests where they hoard objects of interest. Assessment, investigate with caution. So these are what they wanted to do with rabbit rays, apparently. I think they might steal stuff from you. So be careful, I don't want them stealing your sea glide or something and then you'll die because of a lack of oxygen because you couldn't get to the surface quickly enough. Yeah, that would suck. Precursor technology. Data downloads, precursor bounty. Gain rewards for precursor technology. Oh, so that's what you send up to Altera. Good to know. I'm curious what kind of rewards we could get for those. Like, resources? Alright, this does not seem as safe as the rest. No, no, why did you have to add crash fish? Oh god, I hate those things. Why did you have to add those? Alright, so this game is apparently very laggy still, but I mean, it's not even out yet, so... Don't expect the final game to have this kind of frame rate. That would be... I don't think that's gonna happen. 
But now apparently we're looking for an emergency drop cache for more equipment. Good to know. And there is the emergency supply cache. Let's see, anything interesting on here? Uh, capacity O2 tank. Nice. Yeah, that's that's pretty useful. So these don't contain any resources but blueprints. Uh-oh. And this is why it's dangerous to be under the ice. Because you can't get more oxygen. Oh god, I'm gonna die so often here. This is gonna be bad. Oxygen. All right. Oh, okay. What was that? Are you not gonna look back and show us what that was? What? Were those biters or something? Yeah, probably. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> All right. Sanctuary Zero location data. Sanctuary Zero was discovered some months ago, operating what is the highlight? It can be located depth of 200 meters, uh, relocate a visible path, blah blah blah. So if you want to read those, pause the video. Yeah. He seems to not let those stay for a very long time. Alright, so these are the deep twisty bridges, I guess, or called the deep cove. Oh, that's a brute shark. Alright, so it's not a leviathan, more like a stalker. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what... Uh, that's why I panicked. So we get silver here. This Passing looks amazing. Alright, um... Yeah, titanium, silver, and so on. There's one of these oxygen plants. And more ribbons. Oh god, I do not like these ambient sounds. There's another emergency supply drop. And... Okay, he's just gonna replenish his oxygen right here. Yeah, those plants come in handy. <laughs> they don't replenish a lot, though. Alright, there's one of the drop caches and another oxygen plant. I'm sorry for the lag, by the way, guys. Uh, this is not me playing. It's just a video, and I can't do anything about it. Okay, there's another brute shark. Um, oh, God. Are you really gonna- Ow, oh god, those sounds, though. I think the animations are not perfect yet, but... God, you do not want to mess with those. Indigenous lifeforms, brute shark. Yeah, you should probably not read that down here. Well, look who we have here, a rock puncher. Okay, these are smaller than I expect them to be, actually. Let's see. Large crustacean, which feeds on larvae. Okay, I want to read that, thank you. Uh, which feeds a larvae excavated from coral and rock with its powerful punching arms, blah blah blah. Um, Alright, hardened chin claws can thrust forward, heavily armored. Assessment, avoid or redirect with food. So we will be able to lure them, apparently. Good to know. Alright, seems like there's more precursor stuff over here. Oh yeah, definitely. Passing 200 meters. Interesting facility. What is this? Oh, it's a cave. Okay. So, what are we doing in the sanctuary, huh? Is anything gonna happen? Oh, that's a bummer. The video ends here. Okay, wow, that sucks. Okay, so the video ended here. If you guys want to watch the whole video, I'll link it to you in the description down below. But I think I covered most of the interesting stuff, if not all of it. I, of course, can't be sure, but I think I did. Also, huge thanks to Canon42 for helping me with this and recording all of that. And, yeah, if you guys are excited, let me know and tell me what you think about what we saw today. And for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like. And as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye! Oh, I'm so excited!